Hello everyone and uh, welcome to Cross Axe 3. In this video you actually see the rematch between Stallman and uh, Colorfit. Um, we're going with pretty much the same uh, settings. But they're playing with England instead of Saxony. In the first match they played with uh, Saxony and Colorfit actually uh, was the winner. But this time uh, Stallman is more prepared and eager for victory. <coughs> England is their nation. As you can see they are both uh, going with a standard build. Two town halls, two barracks, uh, market, build a storehouse very close to anything so you can just uh, get access to new buildings. And there you have it. Pikemen are starting to get created. From both sides. Colorfit has a little advantage but um, in points but nothing uh, no serious advan advantage actually. Yeah so we have Solman on the bottom left corner we have Colorfit on the top uh, top left corner. That's gonna be interesting and this is pretty much how the experts play guys. In order for this to be a balanced game, both players have to play with the same nation and um, they have the same build. Cossacks 3 actually offers um, a lot of options when it comes about battles and I think it's more fun to actually be a uh, medium player in this game in order to um, actually get more excitement from the game. Experts, well, you play as an expert, you know uh, the tactics, you know everything, but uh, ultimately you kind of lose some of the fun. Of course, it is the, the, the stress and um, the excitement of having a challenge, but in the end, I think, as a casual player and as a uh, more like massive army type of player build a massive army and fight see who wins then build another massive army but try some cunning tactics and so on those are fun as well as for the expert matches this is pretty much how they go um, a very um, very um, there are lots of attacks, small attacks, but uh, frequent, which actually um, result in um, small battles, but more regular battles. So we have a combination of pikemen and uh, Arabian archers from the mercenaries and siege cossacks. And also light infantry men. This is pretty much the usual combination that experts players uh, actually do. Colorfeed is exploring the map with um, the siege cossacks, and Stallman has to use siege cossacks in order to counter. Uh, to counter uh, Colorfit's uh, attack. Basically Siege Cossacks counter Siege Cossacks and Pikemen are countered by Pikemen. And that's a very long chasing and at some point there is a battle but as long as one of the players has uh, less units than the other, well then he has to flee. There was a gold mine of Colorfit which got destroyed and they engaged. But I think Colorfit is the only one that uh, gets victorious from here. Or not, or yes, or not. No, it's actually Stolman that won. And I think it was. It looked to me that Stolman actually had um, less units than the color fit but it, it was actually not not true St 
Stallman is now uh, chasing uh, Colorfit uh, Pikeman. That little officer and the drummer adds the Pikeman information and gives them some extra um, attack and some extra um, defense. Colorfit just uh, killed some uh, Stallman's units, some Siege Cossacks from Stallman. And some archers from Colorfit managed to destroy one of the uh, Stallman's gold mines. Colorfit is leading with the points. He is slowly losing pikemen from his uh, expeditionary forces. Yeah. Let's see. Archers and light infantry are created from the. Actually, how? From the diplomatic center. Pikemen from the barracks and drummers as well to um, search the map. Drummers offer really good visibility. And we see Colorfit launching another attack with light infantrymen and pikemen. Same goes for the Stallman. Let's see who's gonna win. It looks to me that there's a tie. Basically, Colorfit is now trying to avoid the forces of Stallman. He's going back and I think he's gonna bring some reinforcements. So basically guys, he's luring uh, Stallman's units and then he's gonna come with uh, some other units and attack the base from a different um, from a different side. But imagine that um, Colorfit is luring the Stallman's uh, army towards his base and it is in his base where he has uh, most of his units and now as you can see he's launching an attack and Stallman is retreating but Colorfit has another army which um, is actually heading towards uh, Stallman's base but but Stallman has a lot of units to defend his base. Yeah, it's tricky. One of the players has to make a mistake, otherwise it's not gonna work for either of them. Looks like Stallman is actually building some uh, more houses. So he's expanding. He got uh, points over uh, Colorfit, which is a first. Colorfit was leading the points uh, for so long. Well, to see and not believe, Colorfit is actually reaching uh, inside inside Stallman's base, and he manages to destroy one gold mine. And he's heading for the blacksmith. If the blacksmith is destroyed, then uh, there are going to be less options for um, for Stallman when it comes about uh, getting uh, units. And it looks like at the limit, he manages to use the peasants to rebuild it, to rebuild the blacksmith. Oh, it's still a tough job. Now, okay, there you go. They finished it. Now, color feed has more units uh, near. Um, near Stallman's base. Stallman is sending a lot of units towards uh, Colorfit's army. Colorfit is actually trying to win some time by sending some uh, light infantry towards um, towards uh, Stallman's army. The thing is he sent the light infantry because the light infantry costs gold and he will be running a lot on the map and I guess he, he saved some gold this way because mercenaries have to be paid a salary. What is this? Hmm. This army is not gonna be enough for uh, Stallman to actually deal any damage to Colorfit's army. He's outnumbered over here. He has to run. 
Color fit is um, pretty much returning towards Stallman's base. Basically, um, Stallman um, gave up chasing this army of color fit. So color fit is good to go back and attack the base, but Stallman is getting prepared. Maybe we're gonna have more of a challenge now <coughs> between the two players. Color fit is uh, having more points than Stallman now. He builds some houses, he builds several more mines, and he's going for the Dragoon 18th century. These are some very powerful units, guys. You don't play with those, but very expensive. Gold, and also um, you have to pay them a lot of uh, gold. You have to pay a lot of gold to get them, and you have to pay a lot of gold to maintain them. And uh, if you don't have coal, then they will uh, they will uh, mutiny, and it's gonna cause you more harm than uh, good. Colorfeed lost a lot of points. What the hell happened? Something must have happened. Uh, he lost some dragons, dragoons. Not so powerful without uh, great numbers and without uh, some updates from the academy. There's a drama from Color Fit, which basically lets him know Stallman has some units over there. But there's pretty much a tie when it comes about points, guys. Uh, Grenadiers. Stallman has Grenadiers in his army. And Color Fit has. Uh, Dragoons, 18th century Dragoons, so both of them have firepower, they just uh, chose different things. Dragoons have uh, more mobility, so you can hit and run, hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. So that's a really good tactic when it comes about these units, as you can see. They shoot from great distance, they made a lot of casualties. Very good. Don't forget that in Cossacks 3, you actually have the ground advantage. If you're standing on a hill, then you boy have an advantage. Okay, Stallman is having a, um, a lot of units at the outskirts of his base. He has a lot of mines built and he has uh, pikemen to defend those. Colorfield has a big army prepared for, um, for the attack. We see Solman has also got some, some 18th century Dragoon. As you can see, he can easily harass the pikemen. Now the Dragoons of Colorfeet are getting into the battle. And boy, oh boy, Stolman is in trouble. Because uh, Colorfeet outnumbers the, um, the amount of Dragoons uh, Stolman has. Colorfeet has two armies. That's really good. He can basically um, make a diversion in order to uh, create some, um, I don't know, some uncert uncertainty in, into Stallman's mind. He's gathering bo both forces. We might see a big battle, guys, and if we have a winner, then we will know what's going on. All we see right now is uh, Colorfit being chased by uh, Stallman. And Colorfit is attacking. He's no longer running. Oh, look, he's running. And he's using the Dragoons to slowly deal uh, damage to uh, Stallman. Stolman is doing the same thing. Colorfit decided to engage. And it looks like he's the one winning or not. Not necessarily. No. Colorfit did not win this one. 
Stallman won it. This is getting interesting. So Stallman has the upper hand over um, over Color Fit. Color Fit, however, um, has to retreat and uh, regroup and um, get back to his feet. It looks like Stallman has no more ammo. You need both coal and uh, iron if you wanna if you want your um, armed guys to uh, to shoot. So Colorfit had a little bit of luck over there. Check this out. We see that uh, round shears are being used by um, Stallman. Round shears are really good at taking bullets. So if you want uh, a unit which can uh, resist the bullets and help your units advance, then the round shears are the option you need. These guys can take a lot of firepower and if you combine them with a unit which deals a lot of damage, then there you have it. A very powerful army. Yeah, this is pretty much a mirror build. <laughs> Both sides having the same amount, the same type of units. Not exactly sure if the same amount. Some dragoons are being uh, sent away from the main army of um, Stallman. I wonder what's happening. Colorfit is using his dragoons as well. He's placing them on a hill. Or not. I don't know where they're going. Oh! Colorfit is, is expanding his, um, his base. He created a few more mines on the top right corner. And he's gonna have to defend those. Stallman saw so, so the mines. It looks like he actually managed to destroy the mine, one of the mines, a gold mine. Well, he did manage to save the second gold mine, which is good. Stallman is expanding on the uh, bottom right corner. So basically the bottom belongs to Stallman and the top belongs to Colorfit. Fair enough. And we see here um, those mines uh, waiting to get built. The peasants are on the way. That was very good. And also the defensive, uh, the guards, the pikemen. What do we see here, guys? The raid here. These are very powerful units, especially if you. Those can stand a lot of firepower. So now we're waiting guys for both players to build some massive armies and start fighting.
Stallman is advancing. I guess he didn't know Colorfit has cannons. Oh my gosh. The real battle begins. And Colorfit is the man. He wins. Everything that he has to do now is to advance towards uh, Solomon's base. Solomon has to regroup and get another blob of, uh, of units before facing Colorfit's army. Of course those cannons are gonna be a problem. Here on the hill, Stolman is gonna have a leverage. Colorfit is building a wall. That's nice. Well guys, this was it for Stallman. He lost. Why? Because Colorfit held had cannons. So those cannons were really critical for victory. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you did. And don't forget that G2O is my official sponsor and if you're planning to buy anything from them, Use the SHD code to get 2% cash back. The link is in the description. Thank you guys.